The nice fall weather has helped work on the FM area diversion continue at full speed. I'm Tom Fuchs, Senior Construction Manager with the Metro Flood Diversion Authority with the highlights from the past month. RJ Zaverall and Sons Inc. has progressed on Reach 2B, which is near the Wild Rice River structure, bringing it to 20% completion. Crews have been busy installing precast concrete pipe and building cast in place concrete headwalls, making up the SC 2B weir structure. Situated near the downstream end of the Borrow Ditch connection to the Wild Rice River, the weir structure will both provide positive drainage and prevent breakout flooding from high water events stemming from the Wild Rice River. They also made progress constructing the embankment itself as well as the new County Road 16 alignment crossing up and over the embankment. Additionally, work began this month on Reach 4, which lies on the Minnesota side of the Red River. PWS Inc. began stripping topsoil in preparation for building roadway realignments near Clay County Road 59 and 130th Avenue. Also on the southern end of the metro area, the Corps of Engineers and Ames Construction continues to work on the largest of three control structures for the project. The Red River Structure's first bay now has girders installed for the mechanical platform bridge, which will support the gate lifting machinery and the vehicle service bridge. In the second of the three bays, crews are assembling the 50 by 52 and a half foot radial arm gate, which will soon be hung. They also began placing bedding and riprap on the structure's downstream side and are continuing concrete placement at the east and west flood wall footings. In the meantime, ASN Constructors has been working at both ends of the 30 mile long stormwater diversion channel. On the southern end, in Reach 11, crews are focusing on levee construction. Various stages of channel excavation are underway in Reaches 10, 11, 12, and 13. On the northern end though, they've been working on finishing touches. In Reach 1, ASN Constructors is working on seeding native grasses, planting trees, and placing gravel on the maintenance roads. Next, our drone view takes us to the Cheyenne River Aqueduct, where ASN constructors completed pile driving for the flume and conduit structure and continues driving piles for the adjacent wing walls. They have also started concrete work for the base of the flume and conduit structure. Teams with ASN Constructors also are working on many of the 19 road and railroad bridges that will cross the stormwater diversion channel. North of Harwood, North Dakota, we can see the crossings at BNSF Hillsboro and County Road 81, where ASN Constructors is driving piling. In this area, we can also see concrete has now been placed for the new southbound I-29 bridge deck. As we move west of the FM Metro to the County Road 10 crossing, crews placed yet another concrete bridge deck this month, and nearby ASN is installing concrete pipe and head walls of their own, making up the new Drain 14B inlet. Looking ahead, some sites will be shutting down as winter arrives, but work will continue at many more locations throughout the winter months as we work together to deliver permanent, reliable flood protection.